very simply. Play the Inquisitor. And your one off lethal turns into sub seven lethal. Okay, first game of the day, we are playing with this death rattle demon hunter. This is probably going to be a secret paladin. Um, or a Libram paladin, I guess. But usually the secret paladins nowadays run a Libram package. I'm not super sure about, I'm not really confident on my mulligans here, but um, having the one drop is nice. Oh, we could coin out that, but I think this is just better. I'm gonna coin out a hero power instead and ping that off. Uh, just to make it less likely for this to die and to get one buff off of it. Spectral Sight. It's uh, a little bit unfortunate that it's right there, but we can Chaos Strike next turn. Uh, which gives us another buff on the Battle Fiend. Um, and we're gonna have to place the draw outcast card from our right side, which is also unfortunate because it's gonna become more and more difficult to do so. Uh, spectral Sight really isn't playable from the left side when we have our 8, eight cost right there. It's pretty good. He's going to make that trade, I, I assume. Uh, we have that. Next turn into... We have the Razorfin Beastmaster into Disguised Wanderer, which is pretty nice. Okay, he buffs it. Uh, presumably he does still make that trade, though. I'm only running one uh, Vengeful Spirit in this deck. Um, I just think they're like not that good, and we don't have enough. Um, we don't have a lack of draw in this deck. We have uh, just the right amount of Death Rattles and of um, draw cards. I think Tay is just a better card to run here. That kind of sucks, but it is going to pull this guy's Wanderer. So it's going to hit me in the face. Um, I guess I trade into the. Ooh. That was a mistake. I don't think he has any way to deal with that. Um, and I can test for a secret. I, I guess I just hero power and I put the beast into nothing. Or I could draw. <laughs> he didn't even have the secret, so I have no idea. Can we get free nine damage though. Just play that. It doesn't pull anything at the moment. But he wants to target the 9 1. And even if it doesn't grab anything, I think it's fine. Um, it also doesn't usually grab anything because the only things that we run in the deck that it can grab are itself, other copies of itself, and um, the Razorfin Beastmaster. I think that's it. There might be other Death Rattle cards I'm forgetting, but I'm pretty sure I can only grab those two. So it's often a little bit low value. I think that's a card that could be replaced. I'm gonna play Tay, gonna pass, because that doesn't pull anything. It's gonna have a hard time getting through my 3 3 here. So it's possible that we find um, a Death Rattle to get pulled. Might have to Spectral Sight next turn, though, just because um, it's kind of locked in between these eight, eight mana cards. This is actually pretty bad for us. We don't have much board clear besides the board presence. That was weird. Um, he should have traded with the weapon first. He could have killed it. Okay. Oh, this might be worth it just to play it right now. Um, it forces trades. But I don't know if that's good enough because he is running a Libra package that's so plausible. It's, it's a fact that he's going to have other taunts that we have to deal with later on. I'm debating this. If I play this, I would Hero Power. Or I could Special Sight. I could just Special Sight and do that. I think this is just the better move, though. It puts some, a good amount of pressure. If that gets redirected, it's fine. We are 
aren't you threatening lethal? But, um, it's definitely dangerous for him. That draws a minion, right? Visitors for turn nine. Maybe a little bit later. I want to put this special side out. Um, the one on the right. This card is kind of OP, not gonna lie. I've won a few games just uh, because of it. This is eight damage face on turn nine. gonna play this because that last secret is most certainly galloping savior um, and that would be my third card so I don't want to play it uh, we have lethal next turn unless he plays a taunt but if he plays a taunt that can't take out an inquisitor like the five drop then we're still good to go skull is because when we play the battle fiend it automatically puts our skull into outcast position for turn six just 
zero power, I guess. Cool three damage. We can play Razor Fin Beastmaster next turn. On curve. and we could have played Spectral Sight instead of Hero Bowering, but um, it's not a super big deal. We can Skull of Gul'dan next turn anyway, so we get a bunch of draw like that. Skull of Gul'dan is a very good keep if you get it in an outcast position, but I think otherwise um, it can be a, a terrible... It can lose you a game very fast if you keep it and you're not able to play it on curve. Or if you keep it into a fast matchup. So it may have been a little bit of a blunder to keep it into a rogue. But I think um, they're more focused on Miracle than like early game burst. That's cool. You can play that. And that's really nice as well. Trade into the 2-2 two, two, I think. And then we should go face. I should have done it the other way. But I think it's... No, I think it's fine that I tank the damage uh, just to leave some leave some stats on the board. I think, but I don't know. This looks so sick. What is he gonna scabs? That's fine. Oh, okay. Kind of useless to him though, because he has no cards in his hand. Or I guess it could pull out something else. I think any of those are fine. I can pull the hood cultist anyway. Which are fin? Uh, I'm just gonna go this. That's gonna draw us an Inquisitor, which we can probably use to finish off the game. I think I'm fine just dropping this for tempo, because as I said before, um, I don't think this rug has any way of dealing with a big board, especially when it has um, like decently statted minions. certainly doesn't have a bunch of silence effects. They could bounce the stuff back in my hand, uh, but I don't have enough cards in my hand to do that. Oh, that's well played. It's really weird that they're running sprint, though. I didn't think that was a card that people ran. Getting a lot of bears. Another sprint. That's wild. Maybe it's just like a budget deck and they don't have, um, Secret passage or something. It's 
pretty neat actually that they're running sprint not a card I would think ever would see play I'm not sure if we can fish for a lethal next turn um, yeah I don't think so unless we get lucky another mage generation wants like a board clear but mage doesn't have access to many board clears as well either I should say yeah, that's not gonna do it we play this just so we can do the outcast Strike hero power, maybe. Okay, and I think we go phase with everything because we have plenty of defense. So, if he manages to deal with this board, he has to get through Tay. To deal with Tay, it means that I draw an Inquisitor. So, if there's no taunts on board, we still win. Backstab. To prep into spring water. I don't think that's gonna help you too much. Or not. Or he draws two spells and a deck that has a bunch of minions, that's cool. Inquisitor. And your one off lethal turns into sub seven lethal. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a ride. See you next time.